Have you ever wondered how LLM services like ChatGPT and others are able to scale on demand when the demand is really high? Hi, I'm Yash Developer Advocate DigitalOcean. In today's video, we'll try to replicate similar scenario and deploy LLM in our Kubernetes cluster and try to set up an auto scaler for it to ensure on high demand we are able to serve our users. Well, how you can run the LLM services on, on, on the Kubernetes cluster? To do that, I have already created a separate video on DigitalOcean channel. You, if you haven't already checked that out video, I will give a small context in this video, so don't worry. And I will highly suggest to check out that video as well. So for this scenario, I am already running Llama 3.1 in my Kubernetes cluster, as you can see. And I have an interface where I can ask anything Kubernetes cluster from my LNM service. It gave the answer. But right now, I'm the single user. What happens when there are thousands of users, maybe millions of users? Well, I don't think so my LLM will be able to serve all of them because there is no auto scaling already set up, right? So now let's start how you can do that for the LLM service which we have deployed. So if I go inside the Kubernetes cluster, you can see that I have already a LLM service running inside my Kubernetes cluster, but right now it's a single pod. It cannot handle load. So now let's understand the architecture. So in this architecture, we have previously also discussed in the last video where we have deployed the Kube Prometheus, NVIDIA NIM, and GP operator. But this time we have deployed one more thing, which is CADA operator. So CADA operator is a event-driven autoscaler for Kubernetes, which uh, fetches the data from systems like Prometheus, Kafka, or any event-driven system. And based on that, it takes the scaling decisions that's why we use keda for uh, this scenario it also a very light component and can help you with complex scenarios as well so now what you need to do is you need to follow the steps mentioned in this readme i will share this github repository with you all in the video description you just need to ensure that keda is installed with helm then you just need to run a service monitor which i have already created so i will discuss them as well and after you provisioning the keda you can test it as well that's simple. In just three steps, you will be able to set up an autoscaler for your LM service. So let's discuss the service monitor. So I have created a service monitor service, which what is trying to do is Prometheus is trying to scrape the data from the LLM service. And once we are able to get that metrics, we will provision the uh, KEDA, which is a scaled object for the KEDA. Inside that, we have specified the uh, target, which is our stateful set, our my name. And we are saying, okay, minimum replica is one. We want, if there is nothing, no load, we just want one replica at least running and max of 10 so that we are cost effective. We don't want our bills to get high, right? And we are saying when there is no demand, cool after 20 seconds, uh, scale down our services. Triggers is where you actually define the triggers. In this case, I used the Prometheus scaler. There are multiple scalers which you can check out the data documentations. And in that, we provided the server address of Prometheus inside the cluster, metrics name. So num request running is the metrics which we are trying on the basis of that which we will scale because this is the metrics which tells us how many concurrent requests are going on for our LLM service. Once it crosses this uh, threshold, we want it to scale. And this is the query from, this is the prompt QL. So if you go inside the Prometheus, which is running, you will be able to see it on localhost 9090 if you follow the documentation, which I shared with you earlier. And you can see there is no demand right now, right? There was some demand when I tested, but threshold is like zero. And it, over here threshold was 1.24. So now what we will try to do, we'll try to do run a simple script, which I created on a request.go. It's a simple Go script, which runs concon request on our LLM. So let's go to the terminal and we'll try to run this script. So if we go to the terminal, we just need to run this script. And once you run this script in which we are telling, okay, this is the URL where you need to hit the request, run 200 requests for 30 seconds. And once we do that, watch how my LLM service will start increasing. So if I run this command and it will start uh, running some load, you will see that Keda will start creating some resources for us over here. So let's wait for a few more, few seconds. And you can see that it already started creating some of the containers based on the requirement. And in a matter of few seconds, if we, they, these pods will be up and running so they are running and in few seconds they will be properly running and we will be able to serve all of the requests so if i go to the prometheus graph 
we'll see some spike over here so you can see that there is a spike of 1.6 threshold okay once you see that all when the all the requested are done there is no more demand and we are again to the threshold of zero if we see that there are already my services running now after 20 seconds which i mentioned keda will scale down all the unrequired resources okay so it took few extra seconds but you can see after few few seconds it start terminating those two extra ports which it created and then it's showing error which means they are successfully deleted so i can just do that again and you can see now i have one port running i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned how you can set up auto scaling for your services like llm using keda in your kubernetes cluster thanks for watching peace